gonna cook up a new story about Muslims. All you need are a few simple halal ingredients. First, find an unusual practice that barely exists in Australia and pretend it's a looming menace. Like wearing burqas. Burqas, burqa. Burqas, burqa. Statistics show way less than 1% of our Muslim population actually wear burqas. But in the world of news, burqas are everywhere. <laughs> Driving cars, pushing prams, in the news agent. Even cameramen are being forced to wear burqas. I hate to correct you, but the most usual term for those face coverings is the niqab. The burqa, on the other hand, refers to the full body. Shut up, Muslim lover. No wonder there was a backlash. Mainly from this emo in Geelong. This 20-year-old has set up a Ban the Burqa Day Facebook page, calling on like-minded Australians to join him in protesting the burqa. He wants to remain anonymous. Problem is, he doesn't seem to know what the word anonymous means. What I've asked people to do is... So why do members of My Chemical Romance hate the burqa so much? Well, the main argument is... It was used by a criminal um, to rob someone in Sydney. Indeed it was. Maybe we should ban everything robbers use for disguises. Duct tape, texters, George W. Bush and cow costumes. <laughs> Even worse than robberies, if we don't ban the burqa, then according to the Ban the Burqa Day Facebook page, this will definitely happen. Your kid, sister, mother, whatever, gets raped by a hep C carrying, AIDS infected junkie posing as a woman wearing a burqa. So, how was this day supposed to work? Let the expert explain. Go about your everyday lives wearing a balaclava to prove that if. Um, one person's allowed to conceal their identity, why can't everyone? Doesn't that, doesn't that fly in the face of, of exactly what you're trying to prevent? Um, it might. I don't know. I, I'm not the most educated on this subject. With wisdom like that, it's no wonder the page ended up with 19,000 fans, making it half as popular as tubes. <laughs> Next ingredient is a few reasonable but boring people that you require for balance who are then drowned out by some highly entertaining nutters. Radical Australian Muslim Ibrahim Sadiq Conlon and his party, Sharia for Australia. He prophesises the rise of Sharia dominance, the fall of the Australian government and his ascension to the highest office in the land, a land ruled by Sharia law. We follow as Muslims the law of Almighty God. Well, in democracy and your law is the law of the devil. That's clear and simple. That, that, is, that is pretty close to one of the silliest things I've well, ever heard. So that's Ibrahim Sadiq Conlon, as seen on Today Tonight, Today Tonight, A Current Affair, A Current Affair, 60 Minutes, George... God, this guy's on everything. Is there any show that's too lame for him to appear on? Well, at least Seven News did conduct an in-depth interview with an actual woman in a burqa to find out her opinion. So if it's just for identification, you have no problem with that? Did you get that? She said, hmm, that's Arabic for I prophesy the rise of Sharia dominance and the fall of the Australian government. <laughs> Naturally, after all this, there were fears ban the burqa day would provoke hysteria, as bad as the Cronulla riots. Thousands of Facebook followers planning rallies to ban the burqa. On Monday, we're asking people to cover their face. I feel much safer knowing that guy's protecting us. <laughs> right about now, you might be thinking to yourself, I don't actually remember ban the burqa day. Wouldn't I remember a national day of Cronulla-style hysteria? Well, the reason it may have escaped your notice is that the news didn't report the rallies in the capital cities. But the news did manage to tell us how many proud Aussies attended the rally in the organisers' town of Geelong. Even ban the cow costume day was bigger. Which leads us to the final ingredient for your Muslim news story. It needs to be a gigantic pile of ass.